Hello. Send them in. Hoffman? This is Andrew Morgan, the president and national security advisor. So, what do you boys at NASA make of this? <clears throat> at present, the angle of trajectory is 36.4 decimeters with an inertial force magnitude of 128 megatons. Now looking at the coincidental court plus graph, you can see and taking into effect drag course. You cut to the chase, what's it mean? Uh, it's going to crash into Los Angeles in about two and a half hours. What about the nuclear reactor on board? Most likely it will explode on contact with the planet's surface. In 1982, a smaller nuclear-powered satellite, one of ours, uh, crashed into the western area of Antarctica. And the entire area, for a radius of 47 miles, was contaminated with lethal levels of radioactivity. Fortunately, that area was uninhabited by human beings. Well, we're lucky then. There are no human beings in Los Angeles. Only cockroaches! <laughs> In just a few moments, convicted killer and cult leader Thomas King will be leaving Superior Court on his way to maximum security prison. Officials have refused to disclose the location of the prison as followers of the fanatical cult have threatened to break King out of jail. <laughs> is rumored to have special hypnotic powers which he uses to convert unsuspecting people into followers of his bloodthirsty cult. Of course, we know that hypnosis doesn't quite work that way. Um, he's out. They're leading him down the uh, courthouse steps in chains. Yeah. 
You have all damned yourselves, and now the judgment is come. Prepare to burn! Spread out! Rabbit said to Alan, We're late, we're late for a very important date. Move in. I came to see the game. Oh, but you got to see this. It's much better than my hologram, girl. Well, maybe I'll see it after the game, all right? Well, all right. Do you know where the lab is? See ya. See you later. Hell, the Russians are still denying the whole damn thing. So what's your plan of action? You do have one, don't you? Kill it. Face. Now, hold on, hold on. There is a nuclear reactor on board that satellite. There could be fallout. Uh, I mean, we, who knows what the results could be? I mean, there have to be alternatives. Alternatives? There are no alternatives. This is going to be taken care of by Star Wars. Strategic defense initiative has never been tried. Hoffman, look at me. You should try to get out of that computerized rat hole once in a while. I'll notify the president. and get to you. Concentrate on the game. No more mistakes. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, it's never been applied to a real target, but um, data supports better than 70% probability of total destruction of the satellite without any danger of contamination to the Earth. Yes, sir. I understand. General, the President wishes you good luck. That's nice.
He's over at the high school watching John's game. Maybe I should get over there. Of course, we know that hypnosis... Okay. is normal. What the hell's going on? Commander, what's happening down there? There seems to be some sort of energy lock. Should we turn it off? No! Increase the intensity of the beam! Switch! Nothing but the net! We're catching up! I'm so exciting! Shut it down. Avoid the mission. Impossible. There is no way to stop it. Okay, listen up. We got eight seconds. Sam, you bring the ball up. John, I want you to set on the three-point line. Now, we are playing for a time, but if the three is there, I want you to take it. Okay? Ready? All right, let's go. Break! 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 Are you okay? I, I think so. What happened? I don't know yet, Sakiko. Nobody knows. Nancy? Kenny, where are you guys? John, over right here. here. Hey. Kenny, you okay? I don't know. What about you? I'm all right. How about you two guys? We're okay, but I don't understand, John. What's going on? Why don't the lights come back on? I don't know. I think the earthquake might have knocked the power out. Hey, Kenny, you're breathing kind of heavy. Are you right? It's just it's my stupid asthma. Every time something happens, it acts up. What was all that blue light? 
Listen, we should go find Coach Jackson. All right? Kenny, you stick close with me. Let's go. Richard, you all right? Come on, wake up, man. It's all right. It's all right. I don't know what happened, but it's all right. Just hold on. What are you guys doing? Hey, look, can she's hurt? If I can give you any help, just get out of here, man. Come on. What's happening? I don't know. You'll be all right. Let me help you. All right, listen up, people. Now, we don't know what happened, but there's been a major disaster. Now, if anybody's hurt, don't move. We'll get to you as soon as we can. The rest of you, just stay where you are. We need your utmost cooperation here, folks, because there are only two teachers here besides myself and Mr. Martin. But why can't we just go home? My mother's expecting me at 6 o'clock, and if I'm late, she's going to have an absolute fit. We can't let you go home until we have some word from the outside. Right now, all the phones are dead. The power lines seem to be down all over the city. It is too dangerous to let anyone outside. Well, this is just great. Do you know how to hook up the emergency generator? Actually, I was hoping you did. Great. Do you hear what they said about the generator? They sound like they know how to turn it on. Yep. So we're stuck here in the dark like everybody else. I'm scared. How'd your head feel? I'm okay. And see if you can find any transistor radios. Mm -hmm. Anything that runs on batteries. I want to find out what the rest of the world is doing. Good idea. See if Paul's okay anyway. But let's stick together. Okay. Yo, Paul. Paul, you in here? Paul, I'm not kidding around. Answer me if you're in here. Let's go back. I guess. Ouch! Damn! Paul. Here we go. Paul! I'm busy right now. Come back later. Paul. Didn't you feel the earthquake? What are you still doing here? I don't think it was an earthquake. It didn't feel like one. What do you think it was? Well, there were some strange bursts of light before the building started shaking. It could have been a comet, meteor, World War III. Paul, do you know how to turn on the emergency generator? The emergency generator? Sure. Piece of cake. Well, would you do it, please? I told you I'm busy now. I'm putting the finishing touches on my ray gun. This baby's going to work. Here, take a look. What? <laughs> you want to see a demonstration of this sucker's power? Maybe later, Paul. Right now, we have to deal with reality. Oh, I am dealing with reality. This is very, very real. Take a look at that beaker over there on the table. Paul, please. 
Please do this later. <laughs> Watch this. And save your applause till after I win the Nobel Peace Prize. Damn. Out of juice. I'm gonna have to charge this up all night long. And how are you gonna do that without any power, Mr. Scientist? I'm gonna turn on the emergency generator, of course. How else? Oh. Did you find them? No, coach. Well, look who's here. Where have you people been? John, I expect more responsible behavior from you. Sorry, Coach. Have you seen Greg Bell or Terry Adams? No, why? I was hoping they were with you. They disappeared around the same time you guys did. I'm going to go look around outside for them. Maybe I can flag down a police car with a radio. John, you should come with me. The rest of you, go back to the classroom and report to Miss Herbert. Coach, uh, we'll go with you. Kind of spooky down here. This is going to be even more of a piece of cake than I thought. And there was light. He found the generator. Hey, Jackson. These look like the box. Wild animal. I must have scraped against something while the whatever it was happened. Coach Jackson, come here. This is Greg Bell. I'm sure. He was showing him off in the locker room the other day. Those screams we heard before. What scene? When we snuck out to look for Paul, we heard screams outside. I didn't hear anything. Oh. Maybe we should all go back inside and wait for help. There doesn't seem to be around anyone around here. John, you and Ultimo will go get in back in the car. We'll go check the field. Yeah, okay. Looks like he was shot. Nothing got name is going on around here. I don't know. But we're going back inside right now. Okay. We will. We're taking this with us. Yeah. I shall set you free. 
She is my beautiful small princess. She shall become my queen and you shall help me by bringing the rest of the children to me, won't you? Yes, my lord. Of course you will. Something very strange has happened. What would you do? I'm just a basketball coach. This is way over my head. Maybe we should talk to Mr. Martin. Okay. You and Atuma will check on everybody in the cafeteria. And don't breathe a word of this to the others. Is that clear? No problem. Hey, Martin, how'd you get this generator working? Martin? Oh, my God. He didn't kill himself. He couldn't have. Nothing! Wait. What's going on? Is he? It's a picnic. Oh, my God. Martin, go back down to the cafeteria, all right? What are you doing? The key goes missing. I was helping Miss Herbert with the food, and then when I turned around, she was gone. Don't worry. You two just go back down to the cafeteria and stay there with everybody else. I'm sure she'll turn up soon. John? Yeah? Keep your eyes open. Some pretty weird stuff going down around here. Same goes for you, huh? something very serious to tell you. Mr. Martin is dead. What? It's all very strange. We don't know quite. I just don't know. We'll have to keep one guard at each door. Six ships of one hour each. I'll need 11 volunteers. Who's had any experience with firing a gun? Okay. Okay, good. Matsuo. Yeah. Let's go look for that missing girl. Coach, if we're going to be here for any length of time, we're going to need to do something about the food. I mean, I, I've searched this whole kitchen, and there isn't much. We'll deal with it tomorrow. Right now, make sure everyone gets some sleep. You're in charge here while we're gone. You figure out who gets the first watch. Does everybody have enough food? Here, you take this. I'll be back in a second. Hey, big guy. What are you so quiet for? Huh? John, do you think Mom's gonna come and get me? I wanna go home. Listen, don't worry. Uh, it'll all be okay by morning. You just lie down, get some rest, all right? Everything will be okay. I'll be back in a little bit. I should have gone to the doctors. Come on! He always puts this freezing cold stethoscope on my chest. How else is he going to check for your asthma, honey? He can at least warm it up first. Anyway, I can't miss the game today. John's high school is playing Vermont. Honey, it's Vermont, and your cousin's going to have to handle the game all by himself. You have to go to the doctor. That's the plan. But, Mom, this is a very important game. If they beat Vermont, they'll have a chance to the state championships. But, Mom, but, Mom, but, Mom.
incredible. The whole city. The whole city has been wiped out. It's strange. The shapes, the colors. It's like we've entered another dimension. It's a wonderful world. And I'll go get those. Okay. Let's go back inside. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can you stop? This is what heaven looks like. It's my hell. Hey, what is that over there? What? Over there. What is it? Let's go look at it. Come on. Here's my name, and Coach Jackson's, and John. And here's Akiko's name. I don't see my name. You're right. Everybody's name is on this except Kenny's. It's like they built a memorial for us. But why isn't my name here? What about me? I don't know. I just don't know. Miss Herbert. Where have you been? Mm -hmm. I was looking for you all over last night. Hey, good morning, sunshine. We were just having a discussion about whether we should have pancakes or French toast for breakfast. Do you have feelings about the matter? Relax, children. King is our savior. Give yourselves to him. Do not be afraid. What the hell is going on here? Don't look at the gown. Don't look at their eyes. Me. The Lord's vengeance and recompense because it is up to the Lord to judge his people and then to repent for his servants. Get in there! Get in there! Matt, Matt, wake up! Wake up, Matt! Release those students now. Matt, go help Miss Herbert out. I am thy refuge. Come, 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 come unto me. No. And swear by my name. And then I will say to you, destroy! No! This man's a killer. He killed Principal Martin. Jane, all of you, wake up! Don't listen to him. He's evil.
This is the best you people can do that I gotta tell you. I'm very, very disappointed. Kenny! Kenny! Come on! Come on. Come on. The distance between us growing makes me very sad. Guys, where'd he go? I don't know. I don't see him. Not over here. Yeah, just keep driving. Not over there. Wait a minute. There it is. Where? There's where? the pickup. Where? Yeah, we right got there. it. We got it. Right there? Yeah, yeah. there. Okay, Come on, go, John. Go. 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 Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
right behind you! He's right behind us! back that way and see if you can cut him off. Yes. Paul? What the hell is that thing? It's all I could find. Jesus Christ, come on. Let's go. I can't. You're kidding. No. I I should have brought that portable oxygen tank. Get that by a maniac and you get stuck. Give me your hand. Give me your hand.
Emily, Kenny said to leave it in the park. Are, are you sure he meant this park? The park. The park. The, the park near the house. And this is the park near the house, so... Well, where do I leave it? Jokers. No, I, I lost him over the last ridge. I looked behind me and he's gone. Well, let's go find him. Well, let's, yeah, let's go look. started feeling like shit this morning. Will you get some rest, huh? John. I'm scared. I don't want to die here. Don't worry, man. You'll be all right, huh? Okay.
How come I get so little food? Audemars order. Look, there obviously isn't that much food left, so those who are stronger get more. They shouldn't get more. The sick students should be first. Those sick kids are just gonna die anyway. The strongest get the most. Survival of the fittest. You're a bad person. We need to take care of each other. I'm in charge here. If you don't like it, you can leave. What's up? you are deciding who can eat and who can't, we're all equals here. Sorry, dinner is over. Come back tomorrow. Look, you don't decide when we eat or anything else. That's right. I'm in charge here. I decide who eats and when you eat. I even decide when you shit. Hey, man. Kids are getting sick. That could be you in there. I'm already sick. Sick of you. Why don't you sissies get out of here? Ultimo. A good leader shows compassion. I got some compassion for you. Hey, man. Get off! Hey! Damn, I got to take this. Ah, yeah! Come on! Come on! What the hell can we go without food, huh? How much longer can we survive without medicine? And then what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Huh? If there ever was a time to work together, this is it. We all gotta play on the same team. We're not gonna make it. Hey, get away from the edge. It's dangerous. I'm gonna jump. Hey. You were, you were there, weren't you? No, I want to talk to you. Your son was one of the children at the school, wasn't he? Yes. Do you think that, that maybe, somehow, that those kids are still alive? Yes, I do. I have to. strong for someone else?
Where's John? Where's Otomo? I have a lot to tell you guys. I don't know. We have many problems. Oh, we don't have time for that now. We have to get together and go. Sakeko, aren't you coming? Sakeko, what's the matter? Go find the others, Paul. I'll be okay. This is the scene where the sudden and mysterious disappearance of Monroe High School happened. Research has led us to believe that a bungled attempt at destroying a nuclear-powered satellite is behind the disaster, uh, which was carrying an onboard nuclear reactor. So at this time, no one can say what actually happened on the schoolyard that warm spring evening. My mother is doctor in Japan. He's sick. Looks like, how do you say, pneumonia, I think. If we don't have medicine, they will die. Oh, isn't there any medicine in the nurse's office? No, just aspirin. Also, they need food so the bodies can fight sickness. Right, yes. <laughs> How are you feeling, Phil? I'm okay. John! I see something over there. It looks like a building. Yeah, John, go over there. Cleaned it up a little for us. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, check out the camera. Hey, look at all these tapes. Cool, I wonder if there's any uh, Simpson reruns. <laughs> no, there's dates on them. This is a newsroom. There. These must be tapes of old news broadcasts. Paul. Paul, did you get this old equipment to work? I mean, if we could watch these tapes, maybe we could find out what happened to us. If we had a source of power, then maybe we could hook up the monitor to the VCR. Hey, I got it. We could use the power pack I made for the laser yesterday. Do you really think it's going to work? It's worth a try. Give it a shot. Let's go. All right, you're hooked up here. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kenny, pick out a tape. Um, let's look at this one. All right. All right, here we go. Come on, power pack. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's working. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Yeah, don't even say that, man. This is the scene where the sudden and mysterious disappearance of Monroe High School happened. Hey, they're talking about us, Research has led us to yeah, believe nice that day. a bungled attempt at destroying a nuclear-powered satellite is behind the disaster. The Pentagon refuses comment and continues to deny any involvement of the incident. One inside source has confirmed that a high-powered laser beam was employed to destroy a satellite, uh, well, we which was carrying kind of an onboard Maybe nuclear reactor. So at this time, no one can say what actually happened on the schoolyard that warm spring evening. 
Ma'am, ma'am, can, uh, can I ask you a couple of questions? Hi. Okay. Uh, what ah! are you demonstrating here today? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm the mother of Kenny Scott. He's an eight-year-old. He's one of the kids who disappeared from Monroe High School, along with the high school. And um, I just, uh, I, uh, it's going to sound crazy. I've been uh, in touch with him through kind of a psychic communication. And he's given you a message of some sort. Yes. Uh, he is alive, and, and the kids are alive in a future world of some kind. It's, it's devoid of all human life. And, and what they know we're here. They know. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard Mom, to get the message. I'm here. I'm right uh, here. It sounds crazy, but um, you said something about a nuclear reactor when you were you were you were doing the. Apparently, a nuclear-powered satellite was involved. What, is it, what does involved mean? You know, do you know what happened to these kids? Do you know something that we don't know? Nothing has been proven yet. I mean, we're still theorizing on the probable cause. Kenny, where are you? Mom, it's me, Kenny. It's Kenny, me, Mom. Are you here? Where are you, Kenny? Are you from a long time ago? Talk to me. Are you sick? Are you ill? Is there something wrong? Mom, what is it? can what did you Kenny hear say? me? You need to help us. We need some medicine. He's in a TV studio. He's in a TV studio. Mom, we picture. need anti. What does he say? He's talking anti to me. something. Antibiotics. We need antibiotics. They need, they need medicine. They need medicine. They need antibiotics. Kenny, where do you want me to leave the medicine? Paul, oh, come on, man. Come on. Keep cranking it. I am. But there must be something wrong with the machine. Well, fix it. Come on. Show's over. Well, the medicine must be in here somewhere. We'll just have to search it out. All right. Let's do it. In a box in a wall. I will leave the medicine in a box in a wall. Do you, do you hear me? John? John? Yeah. What? It's in here? Guys, check it out. Your mom's the best. Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, she's great. Thanks, Mom! The maid she sent me last time didn't survive the time barrier. So this time she sent it in a strong box. Ah, titanium, to be precise. This stuff could survive a nuclear bomb. Oh, oh, oh my God! Who is that Mr. Ugly? Let's get out of here! Oh, oh, oh.
What happened to him? He's turning into one of those creatures. Slime bag. <laughs> and the beast shall be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, and then he shall. Suffer for forever and ever and ever and ever. Boy, th that was exciting. No! No! Richard! 
Richard, Paul! Richard! Thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> Thought you'd already left. Dad? Where are you going? Wait for me. Richard, come back. You know this is wrong. Go away. Just go away. You just want to ruin everything. Dad, please don't leave me. Richard, this isn't real. Wake up. Father's dead. No! Richard. Richard! Come back! Richard! Doc, how are the patients today? Much better. The medicine is working already. Thank you so much, Sakiko. We're really lucky that we're, you're here with us. I'm better. I'm hungry. Hey, big guy, how are you feeling today? John, I had a really weird dream last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All you guys were living in houses made of stone and mud. You were farmers, and you were growing your own food, and you were starting a new world here. Kind of like pioneers. So where were you? That's just it. I wasn't here. I was watching over you. Like, maybe from heaven or someplace like that. Well, listen. I like heaven you're around, so don't go anyplace, okay? Okay. Okay. We can kill it! Jesus, Paul, you scared everybody half to death. Listen, I checked out the composition of King's body cell. You won't believe it. That preacher out there figured it out. What? It's a human being. What? It's a mutated human being. It may have taken a hundred years, two hundred years. There was some huge, humongous nuclear explosion on Earth, and it wiped out all life as we know it. But nothing seems to hurt it. You're wrong. That laser stung Mr. Ugly pretty bad, and it killed King, and he was becoming one of them. All we need now is more power. More power. That's like saying all we need is a 7-Eleven on the corner. Well, I got news for you, Paul. There are no more 7-Elevens. There is no more power. There is no more anything. <laughs> I know a place where we can get all the power we need, and then some. What are you talking about? There's this cave. Well, look, it's easier if I just show you. But the thing we have to decide is, do we want to try and kill the monster? possible. We're never going back to the world we knew. In the dream Kenny had last night of us starting over, building a new world here, maybe that is our destiny. Maybe we're not just drifting here pointlessly. Maybe we were put here to build some better future so the humans won't disappear off the planet. But that'll never happen as long as the thing is out there waiting to eat us. I say we kill it. Kill it. I'm in. Let's get rid of the pest. Let's kill it. We gotta go for it. Paul, listen, we'll load your gear into this van, okay? okay. We're gonna take two vehicles in case we need to split up at some point. Right. Okay. Otomo, listen, yeah. let's siphon the gas from Martin's Buick into the Jeep. It's almost empty. Sorry. Yeah. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you guys just take care of the sick kids. Um, and put the barricades on the doors after we leave. Okay. Uh, and keep an eye on Kenny, okay?
okay? His psychic powers might be the missing link in this whole equation. All right, make sure he stays in bed. Okay, don't worry about us. You guys just get back to this, okay? Sorry what I said to you in cafeteria, Sakiko. It's okay. I was acting crazy. I understand. Everything is crazy around here. You think you can get back home? I hope so. I hope so too. saying that whatever's in there is going to make the laser gun powerful enough to blow our friend away. Huh. Blow him to smithereens. Well, let's get going. You never know when company might show up, guys. What are you thinking? Right now, I'm thinking about regulating the modulation of energy so the laser doesn't explode when I fire it up. Paul, this is a nuclear reactor you're tinkering with. Very good. You figured it out for yourself. I'm impressed. This isn't going to happen, Paul. Look around you. Look, this thing is completely unstable. You're going to destroy whatever hope for a future we have. It's already happening, Johnny. No turning back now. There are other ways, Paul. There are no other ways. This is the only way. Forget about it, Paul. We all agree here. Stop him. We can't let him do this. Excuse me. 
You're interfering with my work. Your work is finished here, Paul. Let's go home. <laughs> home? We have no home. This is it. This is our one chance to get back. Come on, Paul. Get the hell away from me. Paul. Go back? What are you talking about? You heard the guy on the news? Laser gun, reactor. This is our only way. Think about it. Look, this is crazy, Paul. It'll never work. But Paul, stop! No! You don't understand! There's better than a 70% chance of this working! Let me finish! You are finished! What's that sound? <laughs> you did it, not me! Did what, Paul? To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure how I was gonna get this thing started. Thank you very much. Look, shut it up, Paul, now! Why should I? Because we are asking politely, Paul. Maybe we should shut it off, huh? Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Come on, Paul. It's not responding. It's out of control. There's only enough juice for one of us to go. What do you mean? We used it all on that monster. You think he went back to where we came from? I don't think. I know. How do you know? We could have sent it to some different dimension or something. Look, Mr. Scientist. There's no guesswork involved here. This is all based on precise calculations. Let me put this into layman's terms. If you have a window, and it's locked, and you don't have a key, what do you do? You pick the lock. 
That ray gun is my lockpick. So what you're saying is that we can go back home through that same window? We could have gone home through that window. The window will be much smaller now. It'd have to be the smallest one of us. Kenny, we have something very important for you to do. Yeah? We're going to send you back to your mom and dad. I don't want to go back. I want to stay with you guys. Kenny, that's what John would have wanted. Kenny, you have to go back. You're the only one who can help us. Your mother is missing, Eunice. I don't want to go back. Kenny, we're going to use the laser gun to send you back. Let them know that we're still alive. Okay. Now, Kenny, stand over there. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Kenny. Kenny, you take care, okay? And don't forget about us. Be a good boy, Kenny. Fill that up, Kenny. I won't forget you guys. Go ahead, Paul. Shoot me. I hope you make it home. the last pioneers of hope, the chosen few. Please accept our contribution toward the building of a new and better world. We know what a tough job you all have ahead of you, but we have faith in you. Our prayers are with you always. Your president, Kenny Scott. Keep the faith, guys. I'll always be here for you. the remote. Yeah. If you've broken this, your father will kill you. Maybe they're jamming this frequency. We'll just leave it alone. It's time to go to the doctor anyway, honey. Come on, let's go. Why do I have to go to the doctors today? Because I said so. Please don't do this to me today. Please. Let's go. 
Like a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. <laughs> yeah.